second instrument we're going to make for our weather station is a barometer. Now a barometer is used for measuring air pressure and the air pressure varies according to what the weather conditions are. So low pressure can lead to changeable weather, high pressure can mean more settled weather. We associate high pressure with nice sunny days and things like that. So it's quite useful to be able to measure the air pressure. So our barometer is very simple. These are the things you need. Sellotape, a jar, you can use a glass jar or you can use a, a clear plastic cup, uh, either doesn't matter. Having straight sides is quite useful. Again, we're going to need a ruler, a marker pen, a little ball of plasticine, a clear plastic straw, it has to be clear, uh, and a bit of food colouring. So the first thing we do is we get our clear plastic straw, we put a piece of sellotape on it and we carefully lower it into our jar or cup and use the sellotape to fix it against the side. Now it's important that it's not touching the bottom uh, because we need to allow water to flow in and out of the bottom here. Right, so once you've fixed your straw in position, then we need to add a little bit of water into our barometer. So water, we just want to tip in, needs to cover the bottom of the straw by a couple of centimetres. It's not that important exactly how much it is, like so. Um, and then once we've done that, we add a few drops of food colouring. Now you don't want to put too much in, just a couple of drops, just enough to make the water a nice colour. Ooh. That's probably a bit too much, but it will do the job. I'm just going to use the ruler here just to give it a bit of a stir. There we go. Like so. Right, this next bit is a little bit tricky and it does help if you're working with a partner here. Because what you've now got to do is you've got to suck some of this water about halfway up the straw. And then, when it's at about that halfway mark, you need you or your partner just to pinch the top of the straw just to stop it running back down into the water. And while that's pinched, you put your plasticine on top, press the plasticine into the top of the straw, then you can release it and the water should stay exactly where it is. Right, so let's have a go. pinch hard enough. Okay, so there we go. Now you can see my water is about halfway up the straw like that. Now, as the air pressure changes, it will push down on the water with a different amount of force. And when we push down on the water, it will cause the water inside the straw to move up a little bit. Now when the air pressure outside drops, the water outside will rise up and the water inside the tube will drop down slightly. The effects are only going to be very small, so we need to be able to measure them quite accurately. So what you need to do, and this again is quite tricky, you need to use a marker pen just to mark on the straw where the level of the water is at the moment and then you use a ruler and this is where it's handy if your uh, bottle jar or whatever has got a flat base use a ruler just to poke inside like that and you measure the level of the water now the best way to do that is to get your eye right down level and put the ruler right next to it. So mine is exactly nine centimetres. So now I write that down, make a record of nine centimetres, and then I'll come back tomorrow and see if it's changed, whether it's rose, uh, risen up a little bit or dropped down slightly. Um, and that way we can measure air pressure. So this is called a barometer. It's a very simple one. Uh, as regards where you put it, Keep it indoors, um, you don't want to put it outside because rain will get in it and uh, stuff like that. So keep it indoors 
Um, somewhere near an outside wall is generally meant to be best, but I don't think it really affects it too much. The thing you have to be careful with as well is temperature. If the temperature changes too much, that will also affect the level of the water. So you want to try and keep it somewhere where the temperature is more or less the same all the time. So there we go, our barometer, our second uh, instrument for our weather station.